Choice. Allow voting. It's sometimes useful to be able to see at a glance how your learners are progressing or to gauge their opinions or needs. Moodle has an activity called Choice, which allows teachers to set up voting options with radio buttons and a learner chooses a particular option. It doesn't only have to be how well you feel you're progressing. For example, in this choice on a film studies course, the participants are asked to select which film they would like to focus on for their next project. As a teacher, you can always see the responses because you have a view responses link to take you into the reports. Let's go into our course and set up a choice. To do this, we need to click the turn editing on button top right or scroll down and click the link in the administration block, turn editing on. And then in the section where we'd like to add our choice voting activity, we click the link, add an activity or resource. This brings up Moodle's activity chooser. Choice is an activity because students are interacting with Moodle. And then when we click the button once, we see that there are various examples on the right of how you could use a choice activity with a link to more help. It's a very versatile module. When we click the add button to add it, the first thing we will do is give it a name which will identify it on the course page for our learners. And we can give it a description if we wish and check the box to display this description on the course page. If we're only going to have a few options, which we'll show as radio buttons, we can display them horizontally. If we think we're going to need a lot, then we can choose to display them vertically instead. If we allow the choice to be updated, a learner can change their mind. This might be useful if, for example, they might not be too sure of their progress on Monday, but they might feel much more confident on Wednesday. Since Moodle 2.8, it's been possible for participants to make more than one selection if you enable this setting and if it's appropriate for your choice activity. If we limit the number of responses allowed, then only a certain number may choose each option. This might be useful if you want to put students into groups or if you want to give them all a chocolate bar and you only have 10 of one particular type of chocolate bar. We then type the options which we want to see against the radio buttons in each of these boxes. If we need more, we click the button to add more. There are other settings which might be useful to explore at a later date. For instance, availability, if you want to set a time limit to your voting. And results, if you want to decide whether or not your learners will see each other's choices. And if you do, whether or not your learners will see the names of the others. You might also want to show a column for unanswered. This means that you can see instantly who hasn't done the task because they will appear in a column of their own. Then we scroll down and click Save and Return to Course and we have set up a voting activity, a choice, for our learners. And you can see that it has its own icon. With this theme, it's a question mark so the learners can see immediately what type of activity they're about to do.